Hi, everyone. I'm meteorologist Michelle Morgan. Happy Thursday. Today is September 4th, and we're continuing to monitor Invest 91L. As we take a look at the satellite imagery here, it is looking better organized as it continues to swirl over the open Atlantic. National Hurricane Center has come out with their 2 p.m. tropical outlook, and here's what they're saying. So odds are increasing for tropical development as we go through the next two to seven days. We're looking at a 60% chance in the next two days, and then a 90% chance in the next seven days. Now, it is good to note that slow development is expected during that time frame. It's really going to take its time. And the tropical depression is possible on Friday or this upcoming weekend. And that area that's highlighted in red, that's the development area. So as we take a look at the latest tropical models here, stopping the clock on Sunday around 6 p.m., pretty good consensus. The models there, those lines are closely packed together, showing it moving to the west-northwest over the central Atlantic. But look what happens when I fast forward the time frame after Monday, there's a significant spread. So there are so many scenarios or where the center of the system could go. A few models are showing or taking it into the Caribbean Sea where it could affect the Leeward Islands. And Leeward Islands, the Caribbean Islands, will need to monitor this forecast closely because it could potentially affect them around midweek next week. A few other models are taking the center of this system, keeping it north of the central or the Caribbean Islands. And then there are other models staying far away from the islands and making a northerly turn as we go through that time frame. So there are different scenarios and a lot can change during that time frame. We're about 10 to 14 days out. So there will be changes. There will be fluctuations. But as of right now, there are no tropical threats to central Florida. So as you take a look at the tropical climatology here, it's September 4th, the peak hurricane season or the peak date is September 10th, statistically, where we see an uptick of tropical activity, which is what we're seeing right now. And so far for the Atlantic hurricane season, we've had six named storms, uh, one of them becoming a hurricane, a major hurricane at that, which was Aaron. It was a Cat 5. And if this system, Invest 91L, gets his act together and becomes a named storm, Gabrielle is next on the list. So that's the latest on what's happening with Invest 91L. We'll continue to watch it. We'll con continue to monitor it and see what it does. But again, as of right now, there are no tropical concerns for Central Florida. So we'll continue to keep you updated with the latest. Have a good one.